the OCP title came to me at like, quite a late stage. It sta it's, uh, stands for Orifice Conditioning Plate, which is a piece of mining equipment. It may basically makes unsymmetrical flow in pipes symmetrical, so that it speeds up the flow of liquid. It's a bit of like a paradox in the name itself. You know, kind of, I don't know, it just kind of worked with the, the project. I see it as very much a performance, performance piece, and it was about these people that make a dead space come alive and the transferring of energy in some way. I think, I can't really pinpoint exactly where the entire idea comes from, but it's something that developed over, over time, and it's a very old idea as well. One of the challenges was to synchronize this three and a half tons of material with their movement. So how do we trigger this you know, massive weight to kind of avoid injury, and making sure that engineering is, is safe, although they still had to really push themselves. Many artists have used a diamond or diamonds, or especially in the last few decades, and I kind of was like, I don't really want to use it, um, but, but then I, I realized that actually that is the reason why I should use it. You can find many meanings in the diamond if you wanted to. It's a kind of a, a device, a kind of a point. It's kind of the pinnacle of the form. But for me, I think it is, it is a way of, of, of locking the project into, into mining, into the kind of physical process of excavating and refining and making something. I ended up casting seven, like nine heads and I made a sculpture, basically, of what this thing is going to look like. They rely on, 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 you know, on, on one another to walk out, but also this device kind of keeps their heads in. And it had to be precise, I couldn't slip at all, because obviously when you get into joining the head, it needed to feel like a single brain. I wanted it to look almost like an evolution and precise. Although the music is, you know, it's a, it is compositionally quite traditional, I suppose. It's got a beat, it's got some, you know, melody. You know, I've worked on many far more abstract pieces. I think it ties the narrative together as well, the music. I felt that emotionally the viewer would get, get pulled deeper into, into this journey, into, these, into this performance. OCP is pretty ambitious and it's taken a lot out of me and a lot of time, but I think there's a lot of far more ambitious ideas that I would like to make at some point. I don't know if it's a work that should be projected, to be honest. I don't know if it's going to have the same. And also, I don't know if it's, the sound should be from speakers. So once you should you just watch it on a, just a kind of big, nice HD quality kind of screen monitor with headphones. I'm very happy to, to have this work on, on sedition, uh, more, you know, more than anywhere else. Because for me, it's important that anyone can see it. For me, it's important that anyone uh, has access to the, the work. You know, you don't want it to just to sit in a kind of a gallery or a museum. You want it to be anyone to go and, oh, I can see this, and I can own this thing. And also giving the, the, the work value and some sort of, and just having respect for the efforts that has gone into creating work, I think it's important. This is the best place for the work, really.